Hi friends, this is Vetrivel. This tutorial I will teach uh, how to create a crystal report. In that crystal report, how to add a uh, check boxes. So, first I will add report. Right click. This is my project in Visual Studio, Windows application project. Here I created one folder. Just right click and add new folder like that I created this folder in that folder I will create one report just uh, add a new item here I will find the crucial report here so you want to crucial report you need to install the crucial report uh, applications like uh, in SPN uh, for that you have to say google it like how to install crystal how to add crystal report uh, for visual studio 2012 which version you are using ok uh, ok we uh, we already added the crystal reports here in that report i will add one report so here report name i will make a, uh, check box in report just I had one name and click add and here I am choosing a blank report and click ok so our report created here so here um, I will one database my database is uh, sample DB in the DPA I have a uh, table name called employee in that employee I have four five four records in that records uh, so like employee id employee name age salary and transaction date and status in that status i am maintaining yes no yes yes like that so yes means i need to show the like checkbox tick and no means i mean i need to sh i will show the checkbox is unchecked like that i will do now okay so this is our data structure okay now i am going here field explore so right click and click field explore it will come here in the database section right click add database expert here create a new connection click create a new connection here click uh, oldb connections in that oldb connection i will find uh, Microsoft OLDB provider for SQL server we are uh, here I am using SQL server you are using uh, any other server like uh, access or Oracle or anything you have to choose here whatever your provider you have to choose it and click next in server name just I will put dot dot means it will take my system or else you have to click here you can find your server name okay and uh, you have user id and password uh, there then you have to give user id or you are using windows authentication mode and click click this integrated security true means you no need to give user id and password for your uh, database connections now i click database here so i will find my uh, sample db uh, database name see this is our database name sample db uh, this is our table name employee uh, employee okay so I added here like uh, my uh, server name database name and click next and finish so my database was connected here here uh, in sample DB I click sample DB in that sample DB he will find your database owner objects DBO database owner owner so here you he will find employee and click add and click ok that's it now you uh, you gonna see one plus icon here click that icon you will find the uh, employee table uh, here so what and all field you want just right click insert to report and select here or else just track it here whatever you want do it here like that and make fun bold
here I will add on uh, for checkbox ticking for pass I need I need to add one formula here just right click formula field and click add new formula here status check any name you can give here and click add so I already written this code just control A and paste it here so what I written if for that go your uh, database connection and click here you will select status so employee status equal to true then show this character else show this character we return like that and click save and close so now we will get one more object like status check just track and put it here what your will wherever you want just click so now I will select this also bold and underline so okay I will change this text to status now mm, in toolbar I will add one box here and before I will change font size little bit bigger to 12 changing the size and all and we can text box this field text also we have to uh, little bit we can increase the uh, width then it will show nice now no need this border now click re page section and click fit to section that means uh, that gap will be gone here so now select this line and draw that line again I will take one more line I draw our line and I take one more line to draw here now I am click preview so you will get like that see just I am changing the text to edit text to id name and date I change like that I will add line objects so we will do like that see now go to preview you will get those regard see one more thing 
here date this I will do and select format object date we what format you want you have to select which format you want you have to select it is just and click OK and here see is coming but here not checkbox is not coming so for that uh, we will use change this font to uh, like uh, format object here select font section here go to uh, windings font windings font select that windings font and click ok and go to report see now checkbox is coming and and select this into center of object and click see now successfully we getting that checkbox to showing that status this is record and everything is coming okay guys we will meet on next tutorial next best tutorial bye see you later